good morning good afternoon good evening depending upon the time zone when you are going to watch this particular video first i would like to thank iit madras for providing this opportunity next i would like to uh, like you know thank and also show my gratitude to all the people all the stakeholders all the clients all the teachers all the mentors and uh, basically like you know, all the information that i got in putting together the whole uh, module for you so it's going to be very interesting so this is going to be just an introduction basically kind of a basics in the next module we'll be talking about what i'll be covering and all that stuff so with that like you know we'll get into basics of personal finance or economic sense like you know that we will get into it so let me start like this before even i go into the topic i would like to talk about a uh, few first things so i would call it as first things first so there are three things i'm going to talk about the first thing i'm going to talk about is uh, point number 1 is uh, when you look at life look at life from three different perspectives so all three are very important health wealth and relationships so when i say health like you know your personal fitness is very very important that is absolutely uh, most important among all the three the next thing is relationships relationships is absolutely important one is relationship with your own self then the next one is relationship with others and more importantly like you know how you are going to communicate with your stakeholder that relationship is very very important even if you have these two health and relationships are like you know really good what is very important is wealth now we are going to talk about wealth Uh, in this particular topic we are going to talk about personal finance we are going to talk about physical sense and economic sense and all that stuff wealth is very important because our earning time frame is going to be little less i'm going to talk about 20 years 30 years or 35 years is what we are going to earn money but we are going to live longer thanks to medical technology we are all going to live for let's say 100 years so wealth is also very very important and uh, the next important thing which i'm going to talk about here is that is uh, each one of us should make the best use of our time uh, it's everybody has been bestowed with only 24 hours a day uh, whether he is the president of india or prime minister of india or whether he is a dean or whether you and me everyone is having 24 hours so we need to put the best out of this 24 hours the next thing is energy levels our energy levels has to be really peak performance that's why i'm talking about health there and the resources we should not be wasting the resources we should be consuming uh, in an optimal way and we should add value back and more importantly money so money should not be kept idle it has to be deployed and it has to be circulated and it has to be invested properly it has to be saved so i'm going to talk about all these things uh, like you know with you so i'm still in the introduction uh, part of it so before i go into the topic like you know i'm talking about physical sense and economic sense let me talk about like you know we talked about wealth we talked about money let's talk about wealth mantra so the wealth mantra is going to talk about four components and by the way like you know we're going to talk about this into three or four modules like you know small small modules uh, if you include income tax and if you include asset allocation strategies and all it can even go up to eight to nine modules now in nine short videos it will be there so this is the basic introduction video i'm going to talk about here i'm going to talk about the wealth mantra when i talk about the wealth mantra the wealth mantra has four parts to it the first part is to create wealth you need to bring in cash like you know that i call it as cash inflows now like you know i'll be having like you know, i'll draw something for you and then i'll talk about cash inflows and everything to you so that's what i'm going to talk about cash inflows the second thing which i'm going to talk about is called cash outflows so whatever we are going to earn like you know whatever money that is going to come that we can like you know spend it or hold it or invest it like you know there are few options are there i'm going to talk about it or even gift it so there are cash outflows are there that i'm going to talk about it the next thing is uh, whatever we are going to save let's assume that cash inflows minus cash outflows is saving there are going to be investment options so predominantly sometimes we want to have control on the investment options whatever we are investing sometimes what we'll be talking about is like you know we we depend on others we depend on professionals and then we delegate that particular work for example putting money in fixed deposits in fixed deposits you are not controlling anything you give the money to the bank my bank has agreed to give you a certain percentage of return and then like you know you take you relax sit back and relax so there are some investment options and the last one very important is uh, return on investments so here i'm going to talk about a lot of case studies in the next module so there you will get the whole lot of uh, insights into it okay so 
this video is only like you know talking about the basics i would even call it as the first things first i'm just setting the foundation for you in the introduction video i'll be talking about what is the scope of this whole program what are the topics that we're going to talk about it what are the modules and we'll be talking about real life case studies so it's going to be pretty interesting so in the next slide what i'm going to talk about is i'm going to talk about wealth mantra okay let's start about wealth mantra the wealth mantra i said that it consists of four steps the very first step which which we are going to talk about is called as cash inflows so let me write it for you cash inflows yes okay now cash inflows there are multiple ways in which the cash will come to you first thing is it can come in the form of like you know you exchanging your time for money for example when you become an employee that means you are the self okay you are the self what happens is you take up employment so you work in a company you exchange your time for money so that's the first way like you know i call it as an human capital like you know you call it as an human capital and then you make it in the form of salaries so this is a basic thing most of it will be making money in this particular format especially like you know students graduating out of iit madras i would say 60 to 70% of them or even 80% of them will go only to like you know will go and start working in a company like you know, this is what at the initial stages will happen so that means you work for dollars let me write it here you work for dollars this is what happens right now what are the other ways like you know the cash will come from you obviously is that is you may you might have some assets okay you might have uh, let's say like you know others are working for you or even assets are there you go and deploy the assets and that gives money for you that means dollar is working for you which is money is working for you okay we'll be talking about it later don't worry money is working for you this is what the other way to make a uh, cash inflow is that is you will get gifts and in inheritance my suggestion is that is don't consider this like you know i mean don't consider gifts and inheritance because it's not in your control okay so this is not in your control the first step is cash inflows so most important is that is you should start like you know improving your uh, like you know earning capability as you go forward that is the wealth mantra basic number 1 so once you bring the inflows what happens is that is your second step is called as cash outflows so let's talk about cash outflows okay so there are four ways i told you there are four ways like in which you can try to do it first thing is you can hold it as cash the first thing that you can do it is you can hold it as dollars you can hold it as cash that's a simple way to do it other thing is most of the youngsters or most of the people in the industry what they do it is they spend the money they spend the dollars they don't keep anything they spend all the dollars correct this is the second thing the third thing is one is spending for themselves another one is donating donating for others i also seen like you know there are people who spend 10% of their earnings like you know they give it back to the society um it's mandatory or whatever they do this so this is what they do that's the third thing the last thing is they try to do investing my suggestion here is if you are going to see the case studies and all that stuff those people who made huge amount of money the all those things happened through investing okay now let's go into the third step the third step is investment options this is very very important so i'm going to talk about investment options this whole module is going to be about economic sense physical sense or personal finance is going to like you know concentrate on the investment options now there are two parts to it like in a us self you can do the control you can control your investments that is possible absolutely possible yes otherwise what you do is you create the assets but somebody else is going to do the control somebody else a professional manager is going to do the control okay good so investing what are the options for investing simple option to invest is to lend money that means like you know i have money some people like you know some of your friends don't have money so what you do is you lend let's assume that you lend a 1 lakh at 12% rate of interest very simple so that means you are in the control like you know you can try to do it and all that stuff this is what you can do or you can like you know group of people join together you can start a higher purchase company or a leasing company what happens is that is you go and like you know form somebody and then start like you know lending money and then in the form of interest like you know the investment option is giving you money this is one option another one what i have seen is that is people start like you know so business like you know this i will call it as like you know you can uh, like you know either you can do ownership 
can you can like you know the investment option is basically ownership what happens is that is people start something called uh, like you know a business when i say a business i call it a sole proprietorship one man business one man business they go and start otherwise what happens is you and your friend come together and then start something called a partnership partnership business you you try to do it okay or what happens is that is then if you want to raise more money you try to do other forms of business this is what you generally do it so here basically you control the money and you also invest in assets when i say assets you can also invest in real estate like you know for example apartments you can buy apartments okay you can buy like you know real estate like you know plots all those things where you control the other thing is somebody else control that means you don't have time and you don't have the expertise what you try to do is that is i will go and invest i'll create an asset and then i'll do it once again you can do either a lending or you can do ownership there are two options are there either lending or ownership let's talk about lending or ownership now when you talk about lending what happens the first easiest form of lending is to keep the money in the savings bank account when you keep the money in the savings bank account you get 3% today's rate of interest or you can put fixed deposit like you know state bank of india will give you 6% 6.5% or whatever some small private banks like you know ujjivan today morning they said they are going to give you 8% or whatever so you do bank fixed deposits you do try to do it otherwise what you go and do you go and give it to corporate corporate like you know for example um tamil nadu state transport finance corporation sundaram finance so what you go and do is that is you go and lend the money to them and they give you interest so this is lending module other thing is ownership so here this is where many people have made money i'm going to talk about case studies i'm going to talk about case studies like warren buffet and all what he did was he will go and invest in stock markets he will go and invest in stock markets he will go and invest in reits like you know there's a guy called rich dad poor dad there's a book called rich dad poor dad by robert kiyosaki so if you look at it like you know there is something called real estate investment trust is there you can try to do it otherwise what you can try to do it you can find like you know you can invest like you, know, you can own it in the form of mutual funds equity funds mutual funds you can invest in equities this is possible quite possible okay or you can also like you know 10 people from iit madras can come together and then start up a do a business and then you can do angel investing you can do angel investing or on startups you can do startups so these are the various ways in which you can generate so you have invested what is the purpose of this investment the purpose of this investment is called return on investment so the power of compounding is going to come here this is what we are going to talk about so if you talk about like you know what we are going to cover in in the two hour session over let's say eight to nine modules is that is this wealth mantra what are the various options unfortunately this is not being taught in many schools and colleges right it's not part of the core course and then people learn it in the hard way i would like to thank uh, like you know iit madras in putting together the whole thing like you know strategies for professional growth and then doing it okay so looking forward for the next sessions the next session is going to talk more about like you know the scope and the titles and all that stuff thank you very much